In this video, we're going to discuss the monoclonal antibody therapy. We're going to discuss what are the monoclonal antibodies that are helpful to suppress the tumor cell growth. We're going to discuss what are the targets. For example, the one of the important target for monoclonal antibody therapy is the growth factor as well as the growth factor receptor. We're going to discuss some of the examples of the targets for the monoclonal antibody therapy. I hope that this video is going to help you to understand the monoclonal antibodies better. Before we start the lecture part, I have a quick request to make. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. In this video, we'll discuss the roles of monoclonal antibodies, especially in suppressing the tumor cells. We'll discuss different types of antibodies. We'll discuss their function one by one. Let's start from the first antibody. And what is the function of that antibody? Is the function is to basically inhibit or block the growth factor receptor. So by blocking the growth factor receptor, I'm trying to design the growth factor as you can see here, and now antibody is trying to uh, block the this particular receptor. By blocking the growth factor, it can block the growth of the tumor cell. Now, the example for that is, is uh, cetuximab, and it's also anti-EGFR monoclonal antibody. Now let's discuss the second one, the mechanism for second antibody is the inhibition of angiogenesis, right? And uh, the antibody is basically VEGF monoclonal anti -VG, VEGF monoclonal antibody. Example is Avastin. What it does, it binds to that specific protein, that specific growth factor, not the receptor. So now the antibody is targeting the growth factor. And because of that, it can block the activity of that particular growth factor. Now, the third action is via the inhibition of growth factor receptor dimerization. Most of the receptor, they work by the process of dimerization. And after dimerization, they can transmit the signal inside the cell. And to block that, we have an antibody here. Example is Pertuzumab, and you can see here I have shown schematically that antibody can bind to these two receptors and block the dimerization. Now the fourth mechanism is the immunostimulation, and why immunostimulation? It can also target the tumor cell. Example is anti-CTLA4 antibody, monoclonal antibody. So I'm writing MAB. The example for that is Iplimumab, and this antibody can bind to this specific receptor, CTLA4, and it can target the T cell. Now, the fifth action uh, mechanism of action is the induction of the ADCC. ADCC is basically antibody dependent cell cytotoxicity. Via that, it can target the tumor cell. So the induction of ADCC by binding to the FC receptor on the surface of the cell. Example for that is the Herceptin, and the second example is Rituximab. I want you to remember these names. They are really important when it comes to various competitive exams. Now, as you can see here, if I try to explain it di uh, diagrammatically how ADCC works, it can bind to that particular uh, tumor cell from the FAB side and uh, with the effector cell through FZ fragment and it can inhibit that particular tumor cell. Now sixth mechanism is the activation of complement. So via the activation of complement it can also cause the CDC. Example for that is uh, Herceptin and Rituximab. So basically, these two antibodies, they can function via ADCC and also via the complement induction. And they can target the tumor cell and inhibit its growth. So I hope 
Now, the mechanism of the monoclonal antibodies as well as their names are clear to you and I want you to read uh, more about these antibodies so that you can understand uh, the exact function in detail. All right, I hope the video was helpful for you to understand the monoclonal antibody therapy. We have discussed many examples. We have discussed their mechanism of action, including some of the antibodies that are able to inhibit the growth factors as well as their receptors. We have also discussed the antibodies that are involved in ADCC as well as in complement activation. I hope that this video lecture was helpful for you to understand the monoclonal antibody therapy better. If you like the video, then please do hit the like button. And if you like the content of this channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.